Hi guys, are you here from Blender Bros and in this video we're gonna talk about Hardops Mirror. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about this tool and how to use it effectively. Let's go. Alright, so I'm getting a lot of questions about, you know, mirror this and mirror that and it's confusing and all that. It's not confusing, it's simple, you just have to understand the basics. And basics are thus, okay? If you would like to learn more about add-on workflow, especially hard ups and box cutter, I highly recommend our free course, Sci-Fi Terminal Design in Blender, which will teach you a lot about hard ups, box cutter, and how to work with hard surfaces and add-on in Blender. It's a free course, link in the video description. Let's grab a cube here, and uh, let's just uh, chamfer it here, okay, on the side, right? Now, I want to mirror, you know, this cube to the other side so when i have this element appear in here with hard ups what you do is select an object okay so select an object press alt x which will enable the uh, mirror gizmo don't worry about this menu here on the right for a second and you will see that the gizmo is going to follow the colors of axes so y x and z right now if i wanted to mirror this to the other side i need to click on the side i want to mirror so if i click on this red button here this red square it will mirror across the y-axis along the x-axis right so it's gonna mirror to the other side now if i go to control tilde menu you'll see that i have a mirror here and we have this mirror on an x-axis just a regular mirror modifier all right cool now what what if i wanted to add another mirror to this or another axis all right so i'm gonna press alt x i'm gonna mirror on z that will not add another modifier but it will actually add another axis to existing modifier and i can see that we have a mirror on x a mirror on z now the moment where people get confused is when you try to mirror a mirrored object across another object so if i'm going to grab a cube here in the middle and we're going to try to mirror this object which has a mirror on itself already running right on x axis and z axis now, if I wanted to mirror this across this one, it's going to be on X axis, meaning we're going to be mirroring again on the same axis, right? So Alt X and you see the, this mirror gizmo looks a bit different. Our Z axis is, you know, has disappeared. So if I do that now, you see that my mirror is going to be gone. And if I do it again, then it's going to get mirrored, but without this element. The reason for that is because, you know, there's only one space here for for x-axis mirror there's only one thing you can do with this axis just one mirror so if you're trying to do it again it's going to get reset or overridden right so to go around it what you need to do is you need to add another mirror modifier to the equation and that's where this h menu comes in okay so select that shift select that alt x and then press h and you can read here what kind of options you have when the mirror is active so if i press a I'm gonna add a new mirror modifier. So when I press A, watch what happens to my axis. Press A and axis got reset. You have a new modifier here in the notification. And when I click, then it's gonna get mirrored. Now the reason why it got mirrored is because Hardops not added another mirror with a second mirror on the X axis. Make sense? Cool. Another way of mirroring across multiple sides would be to use shift. So normally when you mirror something, right? So let me just chamfer this vert here. If I mirror something like this and I wanted to mirror it to all three sides, so let's say across to the left, across to the other side and to the bottom, I would need to hold, you know, I would need to run this shortcut three times, right? You don't have to really do that. All you need to do is basically hold shift. So Alt X, when you hold shift, it's written here, append axis, so hold shift, and when you're holding shift, you can mirror to as many axes as you can, which is three. So there you go, that's how it works. Now, when I'm gonna open this window, you're gonna get confused because you're gonna say, why the hell did it add three mirrors? But the reason why Hardops added three mirrors is because you had this A option active and Hardops remembers your settings. So when you press A to add secondary mirror, you need to reset it if you wanna you know run this mirror on all three axes on only one modifier so let me just remove all these modifiers here what we're gonna do is you're gonna go alt x and then i'm gonna press x to reset my mirror right so you can see here x to reset mirror 
and watch what happens to this option here on the top you can see there's not a menu here when i'm gonna press x boom modifier modifier which reset back to default setting which is on the top a single modifier okay so now when i'm gonna hold shift and do the same thing we're gonna get the same result but we're gonna get only one modifier now another really cool mirror i mean really cool mirror in hard ops is flip i mean i use it quite often and it's brilliant so let's say I have this object here. I don't want to mirror it. I want to flip it. Okay. I want to flip it, which means I want to, I want to create a kind of like a mirror image of it. So let's say I'm going to go shift D and Y and I'm going to move this object here by flipping. I'm going to flip this corner to this side. So if I'm going to select this, I'm going to press alt X and now I'm going to press F for flip F. And when I'm going to actually flip it, you will see that I will not mirror it, but it's going to flip it. Boom. So this corner went, went to this side. Okay, makes sense? Cool. Another really powerful thing is symmetrizing. And symmetrizing is something I use all the time, but I'm using it actually with Smash Machine because it's quicker. Now, symmetry is for symmetrizing something that actually exists, so existing geometry. Okay, mirrors are more for like modifiers, which are not applied yet, so like booleans. But symmetry is for something that actually physically exists in your object, like here. We got this chamfer. If I wanted to mirror it to the other side, I mean symmetrize it. I'm gonna go Alt X with Mesh Machine in edit mode and simply move my mouse to whichever direction I want to symmetrize it. You see, there's a gizmo here, and it's gonna allow me to mirror to whichever side I'm gonna move my mouse to. Hard Ops also has symmetry; it's a bit slower. You what you need to do is press Alt X, and then you need to change this menu here from modifier to symmetry, and then when you click you're gonna get this mesh symmetrized. So it's kind of like a mirror that's gonna be applied afterwards, right? Now, again, mirrors are mostly for, you know, live modifiers. So when you have a live cut here, this is not a real geometry, that's just a modifier boolean. When you wanna mirror this, you know, you just go um, Alt X, reset the mirror and mirror to the other side. And now you got, you know, this boolean on the other side. Another way of doing this, we're mirroring the boolean itself. So select the boolean, shift select the shape, alt x, and mirror across. The same, you know, basically effect, but you're mirroring not the mesh, you're mirroring the boolean. Now let's talk about this menu on the top because it's quite important. So alt x, and let's just talk about this first, right? You got the modifier, which is a regular mo mirror modifier, a new modifier, which is basically the A option. So it's going to add another modifier on top of it, so another mirror. Then you got a modifier and apply, which means it will, you know, mirror your mesh and apply that modifier instantly. Then you got bisect a modifier and bisect. Now these are usually used for stuff like, for example, polygon modeling. So when you have, let's say, this um, bisect modifier here, I'm going to do that. You will see that whatever I do on one side of the mesh is going to get reflected on the other side. So if I wanted to bisect this now here, just bisect it, right? you'll see that my cube's gonna get cut in half and that's what happens, all right? And the uh, bisect modifier, what it will do, it will remove this face here in the middle and sort of mirror the object across, okay? Like this, right? So there you go. Now, the last one here is uh, symmetry and, uh, and then you get flip. Now, this menu here on the top can be actually expanded by pressing tab so when you go alt x and press tab you see that you're going to get additional options over there right so kind of like an advanced sort of a menu now this menu gets a bit more complicated but it's also very powerful and i suggest you kind of look through it and you know play with it a little bit you have here different pivot points you have different orientations quite quite actually quite um, interesting so if I wanted to copy this object to the other side across the cursor here, which is in the middle, you can see the orientation of the object is different than orientation of the cursor. Cursor is oriented according to the um, global axis and cube is, you know, on the local axis. So if I press Alt X, you will see that my gizmo is going to follow the orientation of the object. So before I do anything, I need to actually uh, change the orientation. I need to align it with the cursor. And then I need to change the pivot to the cursor. So now the cube is going to be mirrored across this cursor. Now, because I have a mirror running on that cube, I need to press A to add another mirror, and then I can mirror across the cursor. The cool thing is that Hardup is going to create a gizmo here in the middle, 
and you can actually do really cool stuff with it like for example something like this another powerful way of mirroring in hard ops is gonna be using view align okay so you could actually align your gizmo to view so if i'm here i'm gonna press alt x i'm gonna press x to reset the mirror and i'm gonna go here and align it to view you will see that my gizmo is gonna align itself to my camera view so if you're in orthographic view like this i'm gonna press alt x you can actually mirror your stuff uh, you know in the orthographic view like this which is pretty cool and i'm going to align my view here to uh, using the align tool from hard up so let's go to mesh tools and let's go to align view right i have a control q shortcut assigned to it so control q and i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to actually control and i'm going to rotate it like this all right and i'm going to press alt x and now you see that my mirror follows my view so if i'm going to I mirror it now I'm gonna get this kind of a shape right so you can really play with this mirror and you can create some really interesting stuff you just have to you know kind of use your imagination and, and start working with it and basically you're gonna get used to how you know how and when you can actually apply it in your workflow another way of using this view mirror which is really interesting would be to do something like this because this object is here still mirrored right so I can move it in here and then I can rotate my view again using control right uh, let's say like this right and i can mirror it to the other side by adding another mirror so press a reset it to cursor here and mirror these two across and now i have this kind of a situation so you can create some really awesome stuff with it and then of course you got the gizmo in the middle which you can still you know kind of uh, use for i don't know animations drivers whatever the hell you want it's pretty cool now this also works with increments so you can hold control and you can you know um align them the way you want for example you create something like this and this is going to be perfectly you know symmetrical on this custom axis here now in terms of these options here they are uh, much more advanced and this is going to be probably used very rarely but it's also quite interesting you can flip your textures this works with decals for example so for instance if i had a decal in here let me just add a mud here right let's go here and i'm going to have a text decal here right let me just apply some bevel and wait it normals and i'm going to add a, you know a text decal right now text decal normally when you apply it to a side of your model and you want to mirror it to the other you know to the other side it's gonna get flipped so if i'm going to mirror it regularly right you'll see that it's gonna get flipped but i can actually enable this flip you and then i'm gonna flip this you'll see it's gonna get flipped correctly okay so there are interesting features that you can use with this uh, mirror and uh, you know could be useful